Hello, everybody. So today we're going to be taking a look at nuclear reactors. I want to go ahead and go over just what I have learned and make a video about that. And the first, we're going to start on actually my old server, my first server. This is actually my first world that I have been um, kind of just learning everything on, testing everything out. So the first, I wanted to go over some of my first basic reactor setup that I had. Now the problem with reactors is that they normally are very intense of as in keeping maintenance. Um, you can normally, if you get like a, a level 1, I think it's Mach 1 or whatever they call that, um, reactor, you you know, it's it, you can run it in infinite cycles, but it's always going to need fuel. So that's what I want to kind of show you. The, uh, this fuel here, let's see, I need 7 for this reactor. I have two basic reactors of designs up here is what I went, went, went with first. So, um, uh, I'm so not used to, uh, there we go. Okay, not used to. Power suit, uh, I haven't used this in a while. <laughs> okay, so let's turn that off. All right, so here I made signs for these, which you, you don't really need anymore. Um, these were more kind of a novelty. Uh, but yeah, so my basic reactor designs, these are my uh, Greg Tech uh, designs. And they're six chambers. They're very expensive to make. And it takes a while for you to get that. You know, you have to look at a ratio of how much it costs to make and how much you'll get back on it. How much EU does it cost to actually make these versus how much you're going to be getting back. So that's very important. Uh, and I'll be talking about that later. Uh, let's see here. This is the non Greg Tech version. So anyone can use these. Let me just clear this out. I haven't used this in a long time. So. This basic design actually here, you'll see it repet repeated over and over in here. It's uh, four overclockers with these in the middle, uh, these component heats, to spread out the heat. So what you do is you just, uh, let me take these off so they go off at the same time. Um, I hope that's off. It doesn't really matter, but I just want to like to time it. See, the, and also, as you notice, if I m had misclicked that, what I just did, this would cause a meltdown. Um, and also you have to remember where this fuel is goes in. Um, I, yeah, up there. Okay, so see, I almost forgot. I haven't used this in a long time. So this takes seven, and I'm going to flip this on. It's going to start running. You'll see the bar going down right here with the timer. And this is, this is obviously why it's good right here to have this. This tells me that it's going to be lasting two hours and 46 minutes. It's outputting a total of 420 EU per tick. And the other two are kind of not really optional. Um, the, the T, I can't remember what that stands for. But um, uh, time to cycle in, maybe? Uh, no, that's not it. Anyway, um, so every two hours, or three hours approximately, you'd have to come up here and um, keep refilling this. And it was, it, you know, it was extremely annoying. So that's why I have these ones over here. These, these take uh, thorium. But even then, it, it it takes thorium and one plutonium, and the plutonium only had about a uh, two-hour cycle also. So uh, they're very intense. Um, so I just wanted kind of to to show you what what uh, you know what that's the problem, and I wanted to show you a solution. So let's go ahead and go over to my new setup, and we'll take a look at that. Hello. Okay, we're back, and I'm on my server now, and so. We're going to be seeing the nuclear setup with Applied Energetics, or AE. That's what I'll be calling it from now on. Or ME. Really, all these work, because uh, Matter Energy, it stands for. But um, let's go into the the room here. All right, uh, also here, you're going to see this is how I keep count. Normally, it's used to have uranium refined uh, uranium cells, not refined uranium, but cells. Um, but I blew through those within like five days. I had tons. And now I'm running on thorium. Which, that should last me a lot longer. You can swap those two out, by the way. Uh, pretty much, they're interchangeable. Uh, I don't think I have any cells in here. But, um, yeah, th basically what happens is these last four times as longer, but they're both 
the same amount of EU total EU. So they're just they tick uh, four times slower. So you'll they, you know they last longer. Okay, so now to the room. The funny thing is we built this whole room, and I was planning on running the old setup. Okay, this is gonna get annoying fast. Let me. So I was planning on using this whole room, and it turns out that in the process between my old server and this server. I discovered some new setups, and I want to show you this. This is actually my first take on it. This room was my first go at it. Using AE, you can actually automate the reactor. Now, as you see, these are only one chamber, which saves a lot of e cost when you're making them, so that the ratio goes up um, for the cost. So these are all basically how you, I'm automating these, which works exactly how I always wanted it to. All you have to do is have the the material. It's not renewable yet, but I plan on make getting uranium um why aren't those on? I plan on getting uranium um from bees to uh, automate this all the time. I probably have uranium cells in here. Which means that it's still trying to pump the other one in there so let's just update that and I'll show you okay so basically this is extremely efficient because you could pretty much what I have here is I have AE pumping in here telling it to only pump thorium cells in here and then I have it telling to only take out nearly depleted uranium cells which I don't know if it's a byproduct of thorium cells I'm pretty it might I'm not 100% but either way that's how it's set up um, so every time it uh, cycles, it, it takes it out, puts the new fuel in. So the problem before was that the fuel, uh, you know, took a lot of maintenance. Uh, so now with this, I was be able to. There's other ways of doing this, but so far this is the best way I have found, and uh, I've completely made these extremely efficient here. So let's take a look here. This is actually the e import bus. Um, so this imports into the system and the export exports out of the system so um, st basically you can change this to stack or uh, you can make it even craft so like if I had the recipe to craft that which I might do automated canning machine you can take the dust here and put it into a can and make uh, cells so let's take a look here so right now as you can see it's empty so by limiting only six slots for fuel it you know there's no way it can mess up so I just click this here and bam it's already full and now it's going these will last 14 hours around that I think so that is much much better um, if you weren't to do this nuclear would be a huge pain and that's why it took me so long to actually um, come up with or find you know research because I didn't want to spend all that time every two and a half hours going through every single chamber putting more fuel in it you know how long that would take me I don't even want to know I, I without AE even if I had AE not automated these like if I just was able to get them out of here and put them in there it would take so long so that's pumping out right there uh, right now I have 30 chambers um, I might keep these thorium and then build like another eight in here and keep that for uranium because 30 was just too much and the uranium couldn't keep up but maybe when I get enough bees I can probably pump that out I don't know I was producing like 3000 EU a tick with 30 it was each one of these will produce a hundred so it was 3000 yeah 3000 um, a little bit less just because it doesn't equate each one of these right now are producing I don't remember but I think it's 40 20 so only these are only produced 20 but you gotta remember these last for 14 hours so um, I would need five of these to produce the same which would be pretty nice maybe I'll do something like that I think I have enough thorium to keep up thorium actually you get from um, you can get from from uh, industrial grinder with this, which I do have an industrial grinder set up. So 
you know, I probably might go through that, get a bunch of thorium and then build one of these. But yeah, so that's pretty much all I wanted to show you is how easy it can actually be done to create a self-sustaining nuclear power. It's not as scary as everybody wants to think. Uh, a lot of people don't use it because they, they, you know, the maintenance on it is, is very high keep. But if you were to set up a system like this, then you, um, you know, you just let it run. Here is this other room I have set up. This is my second design. I feel I might update it even more, but I feel like it's pretty good. On this one, actually, I have one lever to power all of them, which is really nice. The other one has a couple. I uh, it Basically, you know, the red wire goes up here, then goes up here, over here, over there, over there, down here, down here. So it goes across. This one, you don't need red wire because the red signal will go to there. And if you want to get inside of this one, you can access all of them, all the reactors you can access. Which this is this is probably my favorite feature right here because the other one actually you saw me had to, it was hard to get around. So, like I said, 20 times 8. But for whatever reason, not all what comes out, and it it does fluctuate a little bit. So that's nuclear power and AE. One of my favorite mods. Um, AE has changed pretty much everything for me. I have so much automation with it. Uh, there's so many, there's a lot of videos on, on AE, so I don't really want to go too much into that. Maybe I will just to kind of show some people that don't know much about it. This is my line coming out of here. And remember, um, as you can see, I'm above the 512 limit. Now, a lot of people don't know, or, or they get mixed up. 512 is the packet size, not the amount over the cable. As you can see over here, I'm going to have 3,000. So as long as the packet size doesn't go over 512, you're good. Um, the packet out of those are 512, anything above that, which you really can't get anyway. But unless you get adjustable storage unit, you'll need bigger cable. But that's why it's so efficient to use this cable. Um, okay, so that's nuclear, and I hope you've learned that today, kids. All right, bye-bye. Take it easy.